Green Revolution was literally a boon for increasing the crop productivity to feed the growing world population. However, majority of the food we eat are deficient in micronutrients essential for our health and growth. Therefore, even though we have access to sufficient food, we might not get enough of these essential nutrients. Nutritional deficiency negatively impacts our growth, leads to night blindness, anemia, poor immunity and an underlying cause for death of millions of people each year. Nutritional deficiency or malnutrition is also termed as hidden hunger. So the focus of recent research is shifting more towards improving the nutritional quality of food without compromising the yield. Biofortification is a process of improving the nutritional quality of crops that we eat. Unlike fortified food in which one or more nutrient is added during the processing, biofortified crops such as fruits, vegetables, grains, oil seeds themselves are enriched with nutrients through various means. There are several ways to develop biofortified crops. This includes implementation of agronomic practices such as providing well-fertilized soil, utilization of plant growth promoting microbes such as Pseudomonas, Rhizopium, Rhizotobacter to improve the absorption or biosynthesis of micronutrients by the plants. If variability in nutritional characters are naturally present, then breeding two different varieties to bring together superior characters can be a widely adapted approach. If genetic variability is scarce, then it would be difficult to find nutritionally rich varieties naturally and conventional breeding would be of less use. Alternatively, genetic modification and genome engineering to express novel genes from other plants and make plants synthesize novel nutrients or increase the nutrient content can be adapted. But this technique often needs to pass through various levels of regulatory approvals. Coming on to what are the benefits of biofortification. Except the one-time development cost, biofortification is sustainable and cost-effective way to overcome the nutritional deficiencies of populations who do not have access to diverse expensive diets. Generally crops like rice, wheat, maize, millets, potato, tomato, banana, beans, cassava, which are generally most consumed by people worldwide due to easy availability and cheaper price are best target for biofortification. Through biofortification, minerals, vitamins, essential amino acid content, healthy fatty acids and antioxidant levels of the crops can be increased. Pro-vitamin A rich golden rice and sweet potato, folic acid rich rice, high iron and high zinc rice and wheat varieties, maize rich in lysine and tryptophan amino acids, vitamin C rich maize, high methionine and cysteine containing soya bean, wheat with high protein containing essential amino acids like lysine, methionine, cysteine and tyrosine, high amylose low glycemic wheat are some of the examples of biofortified crops. You were watching health and nutrition series of Explore Bio. If you like the information, do share it with others. Comment below for your request and queries. Do check out my other interesting videos. Thanks and see you in my another video.